there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J. Rockliffe Realtors, and we get asked so often about our schools in our district. And so today I have a very special guest, Joe Ianora, is the uh, principal of San Ramon Valley High School here in Danville. Of course, one of the esteemed schools in the state. Yes. And uh, so many families come into our district because we have great schools. So we wanted to share with them a little insight from the principal's standpoint. So yep. thank you for joining. You're welcome. Yeah, thank You're you. Welcome. Well, one of the questions, I'll just jump right in. Um, one of the questions that we get from families, you know, all over the area that are trying to decide, you know, moving into our area um, from, say, Fremont, we get very, um, a lot of families coming here from the South Bay, all across, you know, the, the country kind of researching our schools. What do you think is the key, um, you know, con the contribution to what makes San Ramon Valley special? You know, why are we such a strong district? Yeah. And what about San Ramon Valley High yeah. School? So, uh, first of all, the district itself, is incredibly, um, it, it's just a great place to be. So uh, you can't go wrong at it with any school. But right. uh, but because I'm the principal of San Ramon right. Valley High School, let me brag about us just for a little of bit. Of course. Um, so some of the things, uh, again, if you are here at San Ramon Valley, and again, every school you get to is great, no matter what. Right. API scores, course offerings. But some of the things that make us special in, in particular, first of all, we're one of the only schools that has an auto shop. Wow. And uh, all the other schools used to, but we're the only one who has kept that. So mm -hmm. sometimes if uh, maybe your student uh, has an interest in some of the applied arts, um, this may be the school, this may be the reason you would move into Danville to, to be here in, in particular. Right. Also, um, we have one of the largest special ed programs, which is very important. When I say special ed, uh, um, there's three different levels. There's the resource kids. So maybe your your child has a learning disability that it's a, it's mild, but it's still yeah. there. Every school has that. But we also have SDC, which is a special day class where the kids who maybe have uh, their disability uh, is a bit more pronounced or um, uh, something that needs a bit of specialized attention. Right. We have uh, those classes as well, uh, but a bit larger population. And then we have two others beyond that. We have our severely handicapped students mm -hmm. um, that are under 18. And we have a transitions program, which is students who are 18 to 21 who are severely handicapped. Now, why is this such a big deal? Because the interaction that our students have with those students is very special. And we do a lot with the general ed population and the special ed population to make sure those kids feel included. In addition to that, they get, they, our students, get an experience that not everybody gets yeah. to have. And so it's very unique here, which is what makes San Ramon special, is you see our kids, I think, our kids are very caring, right. very careful, wow. and very community oriented, which is different than the other schools. Um, and what a gift it gives um, a student to be able to contribute to a classmate that needs their help. Correct. What a, what a gift. Yeah. That's and, and it's very also special. Yeah, very unique. You'll see we have music in the quad at lunch, right. which every high school has. But we have a lot of our special day kids who have some uh, real disabilities. You know, they'll do arm flapping or they'll run around. And our kids are not pointing at them, right. laughing. You know, they're joining in or, or you know, they're helping them. So wow. that's a different experience you won't get. Also, one other experience is uh, we're right in the heart of downtown. Yeah. And that makes the school just a little different in that we have a very close relationship with the town and we do lots of things with the different communities uh, that are right here. And so that's very different than the other schools. So not that the other schools aren't bad. Right. Aren't, they're all they're amazing. Good. They're all yeah. amazing. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But ours has some of those features. Well, and I've, what I've seen with your school, too, is uh, with San Ramon Valley in particular in Danville, is what a strong theater program. Correct. You know, your, um, your a cappella yes. program is amazing. Yes. And music, academics are yes. fabulous, too. Correct. Special programs. Some of the extracurriculars right. that we do, right, Model United Nation, our, our choir, our right. band, uh, drama program, dance program, these are award-winning. Um, Ken Abrams, our, our, our vocal uh, choir director. Right. Uh, nationally acclaimed director uh, and some of the shows that we put on uh, you know in the theater yeah. uh, also um, 
award-winning. So, uh, but that goes for all of our extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Yeah. Well, and one of the one of the um, criticisms that we oftentimes get about our district from people who don't know, maybe they're considering moving here and they've heard rumor, mm -hmm. is that Monta Vista, San Ramon Valley High School, the district, our high schools in this district are very strong as far as AP courses, sure. but they they're not as strong as far as helping kids who struggle, and that's exactly the opposite. Correct. Of, yeah. Correct. So I would really want to just yes. straighten that out. With yes, we families. have a very wide program, yeah. all the way from the AP, very successful right. AEP program, right down through those kids who really, really struggle. Just need help. Uh, and, yeah. and we have everything in between. Wonderful. Yeah. And I have to tell you, one of the questions that I get almost weekly is, okay, we're considering moving into your area, yep. and we've heard rumor that there's another high school possibly going to be built out the Tassajara right. Valley way. Right. right. So I, right I, have, no, I heard nothing about that. <laughs> okay. and I certainly go to all the principals' meetings, right. um, but I haven't heard anything yet okay. uh, about another high school being built. So uh, at least right now, there's nothing. But there okay. is another bond coming up, and so we'll never say never. Talk about it. Right, yeah. right. That's a board question. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. For the school board. Yeah. Very yeah. good. And I and I, I get you know we have families also who are you know they're already zoned for either Monta Vista, Cal High, or they want to come to San Ramon from one of the other. Um, zoned areas. Yeah. How easy is it or how possible is it for them to do that interdistrict transfer? Right. Um, it, that's a difficult question. Right. I mean, right and and it, it varies from year to year. Okay. Um, some years uh, we've said, we as in the district have said no to all interdistrict transfers. Other years um, we've accepted, for example, this year we have taken on additional students. Okay. Um, so it, it, it does vary. It is possible. Uh, a lot of times it's difficult in terms of travel. I mean, if you're coming from out in the Tassajara Valley okay. and you want to come to San Ramon, you're more than welcome. It's just that that's a long trip. Right, exactly. Uh, and so sometimes transportation is an issue. And um, But certainly, again, to try and answer the question, can't really say yes or no. Right. It, it really is a variety from year to year. And you, I can tell you this, if you don't get your paperwork in on time, you are not considered for a transfer. So... When is the paperwork due if a student paperwork, wants to? Correct. So that paperwork is due uh, March 15th is, okay. the, is the first wave of paperwork, and then again July 15th. And when would a family find out? A lot of people that are buying homes with us, correct. they don't want to make a final decision on a home until right. they know uh, when do you find out yeah. about your So those. Are, so if you're in the March wave, which is the, the first wave of people, right. usually you find out um, by... Uh, Pretty sure it's by May. We know we know in the late spring okay. that these transfers are coming in. So I, I believe that's late May. So before school is out of that. Oh yeah. School year. Yeah. Then you okay. would know. Okay. Right. Good. Right. Now, do you see any any changes coming to our district that that maybe the consumers would want to know, or families in the area would want to know? Any uh, changes either in just your high school or in the district? Well, uh, so some of the changes educationally that are going on. What's what's happening now at all the high schools? We are moving towards common assessments. So, for example, currently at San Ramon Valley High School, everybody, that is every course that's on the master schedule, right. uh, attempts to give a common assessment during the uh, final exam, first semester, second semester. What's happening district-wide now is everybody is going to give the same final, high school-wise. So, for example, English 9 and English 10 are one of those. So, mm -hmm. every student in the, in the high school, in ninth grade, will take the same common assessment. It's very important data for us to have because we have the CST, we have the, the Casey, right. now we have a common assessment. So now what we can do is look at all of this other data mm -hmm. as well as the, the final and say, hey, what's going on? How can we evaluate uh, our, our kids better? How can we help make sure that they're learning right. what they need to learn? How can you make sure that no one slips through the cracks? And Correct. And I Correct. think uh, one of the statistics that uh, that people love to hear when they come here is, are we at 98% of the students out of your out of San Ramon High School graduate and going to college? Is that yeah? So and again, it fluctuates just by right, a number you, or right. two, 97, 98. Um, again, we go back and forth just depending on on what the year is. Right. Um, but yes, we're right around the 98 percentile in terms of students going off to college, yeah. which is a very big deal. Oh, it's a big deal. Um, I mean, from freshman orientation, that's all the school really helps the kids to really plan for, which is right. so powerful because, you know, if they're preparing and planning in middle yeah. school, yes, then by high school you're ready to, right. you know, right. to succeed. And, and they are, and I do want to emphasize that 
percent go off to college, but I also want to make sure that you know that even the students who don't feel like they're ready to go to college, right. they are prepared to go into whatever that next phase, right. that next phase is. You know, again, because we have the programs necessary to help them out. So right. it's not just, well, we're, we don't care about the 2%. That 2% actually does go into maybe into the workforce or into the military, military yeah. and they are prepared for whatever it is they are doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not, we have 98, we don't, it's not the other 2%, but it's 98 and the 2% are prepared for these these other things that they're doing. Right, that's so, wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your help. Absolutely. I can't tell you what an influence it makes for those of us helping families to come into our, our county and our and yeah. into the East Bay. Yeah. Because we have such great schools, it makes it nice. Yeah, so I'm thank glad you so much for your help. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay. And thank you so much. Give me a call if you have any questions. I'll look forward to seeing you soon.